Calculus Appendix has a number of different calculus applications that maybe you might want to learn about. And I had a request for implicit differentiation. So um, it's a very easy lesson to learn and, you know, never hurts to learn a little bit more than what the uh, curriculum requirements are, especially if you're in another country and this is definitely part of your curriculum. So let's talk about the difference between explicit and implicit. So if something that is explicit, that would be like me saying, you're fired. That's pretty obvious, you're fired. Whereas implicit might be, I don't like your performance, I really don't want to see you around here anymore. I'm not telling you you're fired, I'm implying that you're fired. And, you know, you can make your own decision on that. So explicit would be me saying like, y equals 2x minus 5. That's an explicit equation where we have y isolated on one side and the variables and constants on the other. An implicit equation would be something like, well, I can just even move this equation all to one side, right? I could say this. This isn't telling me what y is equal to. It says y minus 2 is plus 5 equals 0. So this would be an implicit equation and this would be an explicit. Explicit again means the y is isolated. So in an equation like this where we have y's and xy's and x's and I want to take the derivative of it, all you have to do is take the derivative of the y's with respect to x. So how do we do that? So if I said, I'm just going to write over here for a second, if I said I wanted you to take the derivative of y squared, you could say, well, that's 2y derivative of y with respect to x. You could write it like that. I'm not a big fan of this because I think it gets a little messy. So you could also say the derivative of y squared is 2y y prime. And that's the method I'm going to be using when I do these questions for you. So you, you might see this in a textbook. It just means, you know, that means the derivative of y with respect to x. So the same rules apply that you've already done with calculus. So if I take y squared, the derivative of y squared is 2y, and then I have to say y prime. Now the next little term here, xy, this is a product, right? So you still have to apply the product rule to it. So I'm going to do the first times the derivative of y. The derivative of y would be 1 y prime. So I'm just going to say y prime. Plus the second times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is 1 and I leave the y alone. The derivative of 3x would just be 3 and don't forget the derivative of a constant is 0. So now the only other little step you have to do here is you need to isolate anything that has a y prime with it, right? So I have a y prime and a y prime and everything else I'm going to throw to the other side of the equation. And I'm going to factor out the coefficients of y prime here so I can divide it in the end. So that gives me 2y plus x in brackets, y prime is equal to minus y minus 3. And so that means y prime is going to be, you can factor out the minus, I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it like this, minus y minus 3 divided by 2y plus x. So you may notice that in order for you to figure out the slope, which is what our derivative function gives us, if I want to know what the slope is of y prime, I need to know the coordinates of the point, both x and y values. So unless you're given both of them, you might have to solve for the uh, y value. But generally they give it to you because, you know, you're finding derivatives uh, or slopes for circles where you could have two values. You know, when x is 3, you might have plus 4 or minus 4. So they usually give you the, um, the, the coordinates of the point that you need to use. Okay, so um, for this one... Let's say we wanted to know what the slope was at, let's say 2, 1. So the slope, y prime, at, and I'm going to write it like this, 2, 1. So the slope at 2, 1, and I just plug in what the y value is and what the x value is. The x was 2, and so that would give me minus 4 over 4 or minus 1. So that would be the slope at that point. 
and I've used implicit differentiation to solve. Okay, let's do a few more examples so that you're really good at this. It's not hard. It's probably the easiest calculus lesson you'll ever have. So x squared plus y squared equals 25. Remember, every time you take the derivative of a y, you're going to say y prime. So the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of y squared is going to be 2y. I took the derivative of y, I say y prime. And the derivative of 25 is 0. Don't forget that. Okay, so now I just have to leave this side like this. I'm going to bring the 2x to the other side, and I'm going to divide by 2y. So y prime is going to be minus 2x over 2y. And of course, you can simplify that to just be minus x over y. So let's say um, find the slope slope at 3 and minus 4. So y prime at 3 minus 4 is going to be equal to, I plug in my x, that gives me minus 3 over minus 4, or 3 over 4. Wow, bet you're catching on really quickly to this one. Okay, let's do a couple more and leave you to practice some of the ones from the back of the book here. It's on page, um, oops, it just went off just as I looked at the computer. It's on page 561 is the start of this lesson in the appendix. Find the slope of the tangent to the ellipse. And I remember if the coefficient of one of these variables is not one, it's not a circle. If they're the same, it is, but this one has a 1, this one has a 4, so it is an ellipse. And here's the coordinates of the point. So if you plug that in here, you'd have 9 plus 16 equals 25. So that point is definitely on this ellipse. So I take the derivative. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of 4y squared is 8y. Take the derivative of y, I say y prime. And the derivative of 25, 0. This is so easy, isn't it? So much fun when you get a lesson that is just easy to do. Bring the x to the other side. I divide by 8y and I get minus 2x over 8y. And I simplify this. So I get, I'll bring it up here. So I have y prime equals minus x over 4. 2 into 8. Okay, so at 3, Minus 3 and 2, y prime at minus 3, 2 equals, minus of minus 3 is going to be 3, um, oh, I forgot my y, didn't I? So you're supposed to have a y in there. And I have 4 times 2 is 8. So the slope is 3 eighths. Okay, so let's move on to something a little more difficult. Not really, but just a little bit more. This one just asks you to find y prime. Not the slope, just what is the slope function, right? Because the derivative is a slope function. So I have x cubed, that's going to give me 3x squared. And watch out for these products, right? Anytime you see them together like that, that's still a product rule. So I'm going to do the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is y prime, or 1y prime if you want plus the second y times the derivative of the first, that's going to give me 2xy. The derivative of 4y cubed, remember any time you take the derivative of y, just pretend it's like an x, but then you have to say y prime. Derivative of 6 is 0. So again, you want to identify the terms that have a y prime in them, these two, so I can factor out those coefficients. So I'm going to have x squared plus 12y squared in brackets times y prime and I bring everything to the other side they're both going to be negative so minus 2xy minus 3x squared and I divide by this so y prime is now you could pull out the negative here you could actually even take out a negative x if you wanted to but generally you have to plug something in for x and y so there's really no point in pulling up more than a negative. I'm going to leave it all just sitting there for the world to see. And just like that. And I'm going to divide by x squared plus 12y squared. 
And there you go. So the last one, a little more complicated. It says determine the equation of the normal. Remember what a normal is? A normal is a line that is perpendicular to something, perpendicular to another line. So to this function at 2, 3. So the first thing I want to know is what is the slope at 2, 3? The slope of the tangent. And then I'm going to take the negative reciprocal of that, use this point, and find the equation of the normal. Okay, so let's take the derivative. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of y cubed is going to be 3y squared y prime. Don't forget the y prime. And again, I have a product rule here. So I'm going to do minus 3, the first, times the derivative of the second, that's y prime, plus the second, which is y, times the derivative of the first, that's going to be minus 3y, equals 0. Again, you want to identify your y primes. So I'm going to take out 3y squared minus 3x, in brackets, y prime, equals, and on the other side, I'm going to have 3y minus 3x squared. Now, everything has a 3 in it, so I can just divide everything by 3, which is a good thing to do. You don't need all those 3 times everything. So I'm just going to write out my y prime, and I'm going to divide everything by 3 while I do that. So divide by 3, divide by 3, everything divide by 3, y squared minus x Okay, so what is the slope at 2, 3 for y prime? So I'm going to say y prime at 2, 3 equals, now I plug it in. So I get 3 minus 2 squared is 4. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. And 3 squared is 9 minus 2 is 7. So that's the slope of the tangent to this curve, but I want the slope of the normal. So perpendicular slope would be positive 7. And now you just know how to find the equation of a line. You have slope, you have a point. So my point is 2, 3. And I'm going to use y equals mx plus b because it's my favorite. You can use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 if that's what you like. I'm just going to plug that in here. 3, slope is 7 x is 2, <coughs> excuse me, plus b, and 3 minus 14 is going to be negative 11. So y equals 7x minus 11. And there you go. That's your lesson on implicit differentiation. I hope that was really nice and clear for you. It's not difficult, and I'm sure you'll be off to the races with any homework questions after that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you're on your way to Vectors, good luck with that.